Some people would say I'd be back. Others would not. However, I'm here to change every exception because my sentence doesn't make any sense. Guys, I'm back and I'm going to talk more movies and I'm going to explain a little bit more what's going to happen to the channel at the end of this video. So stay tuned. So guys, all I have to say is it's good to be back. Let's talk some movies. All right. So one of the big things that I was wondering about what I was going to talk about when I was coming back was... Uh, a little bit more about Marvel, was I going to talk about more about the DC stuff, am I going to talk about upcoming movies? But one of the movies I will talk about is a movie called, an independent movie, I don't know if you guys have heard about this one, but it's called Spider-Man No Way Home. I've never heard about this movie, I've never heard of this spider guy before, but a lot of people have, so I guess I'm going to have to talk about it because there's a big audience for it, for an indie movie, I mean, jeez, alright, <laughs> what is it, like a cinematic universe or something? <laughs> basically the live action version of Spider-Verse into the Sp uh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse that's what I meant uh, it, it's basically a live action version of that movie rather than having Miles Morales as the main character you still have Tom Holland's Peter Parker as the main character and we're also talking about villains however we have actually gotten more confirmation from the villain side of this movie rather than the hero side do we really need to have the amazing Spider-Man and Sam Raimi Spider-Man versions back in this movie no. Would it be fun, however? Yes, I wouldn't complain if that were to happen at all. But I am pretty sure that will happen, even though they officially, officially hasn't said anything. I know there's like uh, YouTubers out there and there's like articles saying, guys, if it's not official, then it's not official, which technically on a legal term is true. But in a moral standpoint, we read between the lines. We know how these corporations work when they come out and say stuff to, to certain articles. Uh, we know how this shit works, right? They're gonna keep this a secret. A trailer has not even been revealed. They not so long ago revealed the title of the movie and that took a while for them to reveal. Apparently the movie is coming out on December 17th, but I have a feeling they're probably gonna push the movie a little bit, but then again, we are talking about Sony and it is the holiday special times. We're talking Green Goblin here. We're finally getting a Marvel Cinematic Universe version of Green Goblin. But it's not someone new. It's not someone you've never seen before. This is William Defoe as Green Goblin. But it's not exactly the same version from the first Spider-Man movie. It's not the one who died because, well, he died. This is a version of him from another Sam Raimi universe, but it's not exactly the same one that we've seen back in 2001 or 2. And there's rumors about him having Tony Stark equipment here and there, and I don't really know how this is gonna work. I don't know if this is just a fan casting, if it's just Marvel being like, hey, we don't see anyone else fitting these roles, so we're just gonna cast them, but it's not really multiverse related. Uh, however, it does seem like this is adding up to become a multiverse thing. Now, the rap.com ended up asking William Defoe because he was actually going to be having a, a video game called 12 Minutes. He's in this video game. And they asked him during an interview, will you ever reprise your role as Norman Osborn in No Way Home? And rather than saying yes or no, he ended up saying this. I got lots of stuff happening now. And you know, I always feel like when a film comes out, that's when it's time to talk about it. I don't know about you guys. I'm not an expert here. I'm not a detective, all right? I can't read body language as good as like the fucking FBI guy who's looking over me across the street. But what I can say is that if somebody were to say that to me and I asked the question, I would call you out right now and say, you're in it. You're in the movie. You, you cannot deny it. Because if you denied it, you would be lying. And that would be morally and Christianly wrong, sir. You cannot do that. You'd be disobeying God. Okay, the Bible says, thou shall not lie. He'd be lying if he said that, so he didn't really say no, but he did say, I'll confirm it after the movie. It's like, well, you might as well just said yes. But if you said yes, you legally would have probably broken a contract saying that, oh, you, you leaked something, you shouldn't have done that, this is gonna be a big surprise, and you just fucked it up. The leaks about Green Goblin being in the movie happened like way back in May or March or April, like back in spring of this year. We're like towards the end of the summer, if not the fall, and now he's getting that question. I feel like he would have gotten that question earlier, but 
okay, I mean, hey, by all means, maybe he's been gone, maybe he's been busy, so, you know, people have been getting the opportunity to ask him, but, you know, they finally caught him off guard and asked him, and, you know, this is the best response he could give. Say whatever you want about Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, I think the movie was, you know, the first one, I think it's fine, it is really outdated in, in a lot of aspects, but it's... You know, it's really good in other aspects too. And it's very memeable. Let's not forget how memeable that the, the whole trilogy is in general. I technically would have preferred that they didn't do the multiverse route and just had like, you know, they casted a new actor to become the new official MCU version of these characters and really build them up. But, you know, if the contract to Tom Holland within the MCU is ending, they might as well just put all the cards in the deck. I'm scared that that might be the villain problem that we've had with Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, Mason Spider-Man 2, possibly with this movie, having too many villains in one movie. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. Uh, I did think Far From Home was decent, it was fine. I did really like Homecoming, and I do really like Tom Holland as Spider-Man, so we'll see. But I'm just, let's not do Iron Man Jr. Right? Let's not have this villain having a hatred for Iron Man and then Spider-Man just is there. Let's have a guy who has a hatred for Spider-Man. You know, let's have him gathering people to fight Spider-Man, not Iron Man. Let's not have that shit again because we had that twice now and I don't want that a third time. For the love of God, let's not do that. I am excited to see William Dafoe do kind of a different version of, of Green Goblin, if not the same one. Let's change the suit because it sucked in the first film. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think yourself? Do you think that he will actually be back in the movie? Do you look at this quote and say, wow, he's actually in it? Or nope, this is bullshit. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more. Okay, so this is the post credit scene of the video. I'm actually just going to give you a little bit of an update of now being back on YouTube. Uh, it's finally good to be back, but here's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing a second channel called Crime Driven. Uh, the link will be in the description if you want to check it out. It's going to be all unsolved mysteries. When those videos will be published will be probably once every other week, if not once a week or something like that. That's what I'll be trying to do. Meanwhile, I'll be trying to do a consistent upload here on this channel, but I am back again after a long hiatus from this channel and i'm trying to figure out like what the best schedule for me is to post videos here and also when it comes to what the types of jobs i do in real life just to figure out like okay when is the best time to upload a video should i do it once a week more than once a week uh, and also i am really open for suggestions to what kind of videos i should make i mean yes i do like talking about movies and stuff but i also like to differentiate from a lot of time to time as you guys may have seen from previously like back a few years so if there's any other types of content you want me to talk about or or do in this channel then let me know in the comments no ideas are too stupid uh but yeah let me know guys it's good to be back glad to see you again and uh I'll see you guys in the next video